There's a reason I'm standing all the way up here today, and it's because I want to know, how do you make a feather fall as fast as a bowling ball? Let's find out. Unsurprisingly, the bowling ball lands well before the feather. So how can you make them fall at the same speed? You just need a bit of science. The average bowling ball has a mass of between five and seven kilograms. That's about the same as 10 iPads stacked on top of each other or a five month old baby. But please don't drop your younger sibling, no matter how annoying they're being. And a feather is so light, it's as light as well. A feather. But what makes them both fall is because on Earth we have a force called gravity. Gravity pulls things towards the center of the Earth. In fact, without it, everything would just be floating around like it does in space. Gravity changes depending where you are in space because the strength of gravity depends on the size of the thing you're standing on. So gravity on the moon is only a sixth as strong as gravity on Earth. No, but on Earth, gravity acts on all things equally, no matter how heavy something is. So the force of gravity acting on this feather and this bowling ball is identical. It's 9.8 newtons per kilogram, to be precise. What makes them fall at different speeds is something else. It's a force that's operating in the opposite direction to gravity. A force that comes literally from the air we breathe. Air resistance. But how can the air we breathe create a force? Let me show you. Take two sheets of identical paper and scrunch one into a ball. So both of these pieces of paper have the same mass, but which one do you think is gonna fall quicker? Let's find out. So what's going on here is that the piece of paper that has the bigger surface area is pushing past more air molecules. That open paper is creating more friction with the air. This friction acts as a force opposing gravity and so slows down the paper. It's exactly the same with the bowling ball and the feather. What makes the feather fall slower is the huge amount of air resistance acting on it. So if you want to make a feather fall as fast as a bowling ball, all you got to do is remove the air resistance. And I guess to do that, you should remove the air? What, but how are we going to do that? Well, luckily, the legends at NASA have a huge, and I mean huge, vacuum chamber. It's the biggest one ever built. And what it does is it can remove all the air recreate the conditions of space. First, they suck out all the air in this room, over 30 tons of it, until there's only about two grams left. What this means is there's literally nothing here. No air, no particles, literally nothing. The reason for this is to make sure there's nothing in the way to create any sort of resistance against any object. So now the bowling ball and feather are being elevated to the same height and they're going to be dropped at the exact same time. This is nerve-wracking, nail-biting stuff. Which is going to hit the ground first? Okay, here we go, here we go. They're moving at the, the exact same speed. That is absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh, I actually can't believe my eyes. They're falling at the exact same time. What? And they hit at the exact same That is incredible. And that is how you make a feather fall as fast ugh, as a bowling ball. No opposing force, no air resistance, just pure gravity.